My name is Lars Lund. Pyronis disease or endoradio penis plastica is a very common disease and affects up to 5-10% to of all men in different ages. It's a disease in the connective tissue. The patient are very disturbed because there is a curvature of the penis who can make some problems during intercourse. We always ask the patients to bring along photos of a penis in an erect condition in order to measure the angle. So it's very important to have a proper history. Is there a plaque? Is there a nodule? Does it hurt? And then measure the angle and then perform the ultrasound. In the present video, we want to show how shockwave therapy can help in this condition. Now we want to show you in this anatomical model how to apply the shockwave therapy for the plaque. You lift up the handpiece. Remember, few drops of silicone oil on the standoff. Place it and attach it to the handpiece like this, and you can see the anatomical part here. Remember to put on some gel on the plaque like this, and then lift up the penis, hold it, and then start treatment like this. After each treatment, we use disinfective wipes to clean the handpiece like this. And you can use the same disinfective wipes for cleaning all the accessories and standoffs. You can also use the penis holder. You should remember carefully to lift up the penis and then place it again on this penis holder. Maybe adjust it a little bit so that the patients lie comfortable. When you have made the history, I find it very important that you are performing an ultrasound in order to see the size and placement of the plaque. So please ask the patient to move forward to, towards you so that the patient slides comfortable. Then you put on some gel. And then you are performing the ultrasound here you can see the calcification very clearly on the screen and I'm pretty sure that the shockwave therapy will help in this case. After you have performed the ultrasound, you know exactly where the plaque is. So now you are making the equipment ready. Now you press on the screen and you are choosing the right protocol, which is in this case IPP. Now the equipment is ready for treatment. Then Remember to put on some gel. You know for sure where the plaque is now due to the ultrasound. Lift up the handpiece and then you start the treatment. Just above the plaque. During the treatment, you can, it's very important to look at the patient's face to see whether he's tolerating the energy level. If it's tolerated, then you can increase the level slowly up to 0.25 in energy level. The treatment usually takes around 15 minutes. When you have performed the treatment, the patient can easily leave the hospital because it's an outpatient clinic procedure, yet we have not experienced any problems, complications whatsoever. So it's a very straightforward procedure.